Okay, go ahead, Lily. So today we're going to complete the splastic nose, and I think this is a very cool one because it's called jellyfish or plastic bait. Can you tell them apart? Look at these two. Can you guys tell them apart? Yeah. Oh, kind of. A little. A little. Yeah. A little. Oh, 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 yeah. Sea turtles can't. Sometimes turtles eat floating plastic baits that look like jellyfish. The plastic bait hurts the turtle. But how do plastic baits get in the ocean in the first place? People. Let's watch the video that goes with us. Yay! What happens to our trash? Dirty tissues, milk cartons, plastic shopping bags. We throw away a lot of garbage every day. But where does it all go? And who takes it away? Let's take one piece of trash and see what happens to it. You're eating a delicious snack. When you're done, all that's left is a piece of trash. You put it in the trash can with all the other garbage. Soon, the can is full. It's time to take out the trash. An adult takes it outside. Next, a garbage truck pulls up outside the house. Sanitation workers get out. They pick up the trash can and dump the trash into the back of their truck. They go to your next door neighbors and do the same thing. They do it again and again for all the houses on your street. Uh-oh, the truck is starting to get full. Not a problem. The truck has a packer blade in the back. It pushes down on the garbage and squishes it together. It makes room for more trash. Soon, the sanitation workers have picked up all the garbage on your street. The street is nice and clean. The sanitation workers do a really important job. Without them, our streets would get covered with gross, smelly trash. Bugs and rats that carry diseases would crawl all over and make people sick. The sanitation workers help keep our communities clean and healthy. After they pick up your trash, the sanitation workers take it to a landfill. That's a place where a lot of trash gets dumped into a huge pile. In some places, the landfill is far away. It's too far for the sanitation workers to drive there. Trains and big boats called barges take the trash to the landfill instead. Most of our trash ends up in landfills, and it stays there for a long, long time. It takes many years for trash in a landfill to decompose or break down. We can keep some of our trash from taking up space in a landfill. You can recycle a lot of things. That means they get broken down and turned into something new. Food scraps can go in a compost bin. Compost decomposes much more quickly than a landfill. It can be used as fertilizer to help plants grow. Some trash still has to go to the landfill, and that's okay. We can still be responsible with our garbage. Make sure you put it in a trash can. Don't litter. And say thank you to our sanitation workers. They work hard to keep our communities clean. is a landfill? Talk about it. See you soon. Things like recycling, maybe we can reuse things. 
Like yeah. a water bottle. Let's reuse it. Let's just not throw it away. Or sometimes we can reduce things. So instead of throwing away a ton of paper that we've only used once, we could use the back sides and use it again. So we can reuse, we can recycle, and we can reduce. It's called the three R's. Not the three R's for pride. Those are different. But next week is Earth Day and next Thursday. So we'll be talking about this. Now, Kaden, did you say that you talked about this in art this week? Yeah. This the week again? Yeah. And Miss Murphy. Yeah. Um, landfills are pretty much just like dumps. Pretty much. Yep, yeah, they are. Pretty much the same name, just same thing, just different name, right? Very similar. Good. They want to have a fancy name. For um, so Corla. Brooke, why do you keep, that's the third time you flirted. Um, I reuse something. Like water bottles and to make um, chairs. Awesome. Good job. Very good. Mason. Uh, is this, is this the love of flag waves? Don't throw away the big stuff together. Yeah, that's that's the one thing that American flag, that's one thing you cannot throw away because it's actually against the law. Because it would disrespect our country to throw a flag away. So what you have to do is you have to take it to a special place where they will reuse them um, in a and different way. Anymore. So it's a it's actually against the law to throw a flag away. Even if it's like torn or ripped, you still can't throw it away. You need to take it to a special place. Away. Okay? It's against the law. It's just breaking the law. It's showing disrespect to our country. Okay, last thing, Wyatt, and then we're going to go for recess. You'll take good care of it, right? Good. All right, now when we get back from lunch, mm -hmm. we are going to do the inside of this and learn about the plastic bag problem that is happening. Okay, so leave this.